Hello guys, I want to say happy Easter and uh, welcome you to the second phase of this biological discourse. You know, for a while we've not uh, posted any video. I want to start uh, another phase of the studies in biology, which we have been doing in the first phase. We looked at general biology, you know, the introduction to the concept of biology. We also talked about the uh, bacteria, virus, cell. Then we went into plants. They talked about the uh, uh, the bryophyter. We talked about algae. We talked about fungi. Then for parasitology, especially for the medical students, we you know, gave introduction to parasitology, an uh, introduction uh, to, uh, that's introduction to parasitology. We looked into uh, protozoa, we looked into uh, plate helminthes, and we ended with nematoda. So, we want to go into the second phase. Uh, meanwhile, we are in the uh, mood of celebration, uh, celebrating the death and the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ all over the world, Christians all over the world are, are celebrating this. And of course, I would like you to reflect on the reason for the celebration. Don't just celebrate without knowledge. Someone came from heaven, died on our behalf, and uh, it's important we reciprocate the gesture by living right. Okay. So we have a, a biology to look at. In this second phase, these are some of the topics we'll be looking at. It looks as if it is small. It's actually not small. It's, there are five topics here, but then we'll have a, a subtopics or subtitles under these main topics. So the first one is Teridophyta. Teridophyta. Remember in the first uh, phase we talked about the the lower plants and the higher plants and we categorize a uh, bryophyta talophyta and uh, sorry a uh, schizophyta talophyta and bryophyta as lower plants and one of the differences i mentioned between the lower plants and higher plants is the fact that lower plants do not have the vascular bundle that is the xylem and the phloem but of course, you can see that in the higher plant. So we thought about three different uh, categories of lower plants, the schizophyta, the talophyta. A schizophyta will have bacteria and the blue-green algae. Then for talophyta, we'll have the algae or fungi. Then for, what is it called again? Then for bryophyta, we thought about many examples like the fern, uh, sorry, many examples like the, the mosses, the, the liverworts, and the rest of them. So. For this uh, group, we're talking about the, the, the higher plant, like I said, the first group of the higher plants, which we're going to talk about is Teridophyta. Teridophyta. After that, now look at Spermatophyta. The word sperm means seed. So Spermatophyta, plants that have seed. Uh, when we get here, we're going to look at the two different categories of the Spermatophyta, the gymnosperms and the angiosperms. The gymnosperms are the naked seed plants, and the angiosperms, those whose seeds are covered. Then uh, we also look at vertebrata, under vertebrata. When we studied the, in the first phase, we talked about the animal kingdom, where we talked about the protozoa, porifera, cnidaria, plethermites, then uh, the nematoda, the annelida, the uh, mollusca, the uh, arthropoda, echidodermata, codata. And if you can remember, I said that that codata is the phylum that links invertebrate and vertebrate. So you can see that uh, we have cephalocodata, we have hemicodata, you have hemicodata, we now have vertebrata. Under that vertebrata, you can now see the different uh, 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 classes of that subphylum called vertebrata. So this vertebrata you are seeing here is a subphylum. So we have about five classes. The pieces, the amphibians, the reptiles, the eels, and the mammals. So these are some of the uh, classes. So we're going to be studying under vertebrata. Then look at ecology. Under ecology, we look at the uh, study of the relationship that exists between 
organisms and their standard environment. There are so many things, uh, you know, uh, the greenhouse effects, the, the pollution, so many things to talk about in ecology. Then we we'll end with genetics. Genetics. There are so many things we're going to talk about in genetics. You know, introducing the the basic concept in genetics and uh, the rest of them. Then after that, the second aspect of uh, what we're going to discuss will be genetics. We're going to be looking at uh, genetics, genetics in details. I mean, as a course now, we're going to be looking at genetics. Some of the topics we're going to introduce genetics. Look at the history of genetics, weapon and free theory, the reformation theories, the particular th uh, theories. Then the second topic, we're going to look at the Mendelian inheritance. Here we have brief history of Mendel, Mendelian genetics, law of dominance and uniformity, law of segregation of genes, the law of independent assort assortment, the monohybrid crosses, test cross, then the hybrid crosses, test cross on the hybrid, the multi hybrid crosses, the chi square. Of what people call the chi sphere. So we're going to look at that, and uh, we'll see how we can use the chi sphere to determine the difference between the observed and the expected. Then we we'll have chapter three, essential of Mendelian inheritance. We are going to look at uh, uh, Thomas uh, Hunt Morgan, then a deviation from Mendelian genetics, incomplete dominance, then codominance, multiple alleles, then polygenic traits, intermediate expression, modifying genes, regulator genes. Incomplete penetrance, sex related genetic effects, uh, pleiotropy, lethality, recessive lethality, dominant lethality, epistasis, uh, recessive lethality, dominant epistasis, dominant epis, yeah, dominant epistasis. Then uh, we also have, of course, we have dominant epistasis one and two, then duplicate uh, dominant genes, uh, duplicate recessive genes, or complementary genes, then structural genes, then environmental influences. Then uh, chapter four, we're going to be looking at genetic interaction and little genes, where we'll be talking about uh, the uh, uh, terms used in genetic interaction. Then uh, we're going to also be looking at the molecular basis of inheritance, where we'll have uh, studied the overview of the molecular basis of inheritance, the history and identification of the genetic materials, evidence of DNA as a genetic material, the prejugriptic transformation experiments, the blender experiment, evidence of RNA as a genetic material in viruses, chemical nature of the genetic material, then the central dogma, we are, or how information is transferred from DNA down to protein, then DNA replication, the stages of uh, transcription, translation, components involved in translation, significance of translation, then DNA mutation, types of mutation, DNA re recombination, the DNA structure, the Watson Creek uh, model uh, of the DNA, which uh, was uh, formulated in 1953, then enzymes of DNA metabolism, functions of DNA molecule, RNA, types of RNA, uh, the gene concept, the genetic code, gene expression regulation, the enzymatic uh, synthesis of RNA, then the functions of RNA, differences between RNA and DNA, the point mutation in DNA sequence, chromosome in heredity, the chromosome structure, the special chromosomes, then uh, uh, chromosomal variations. The special chromosomes would see it under uh, uh, polythene chromosomes. Uh, we're going to study that. Then chapter 6, linkage, uh, history of linkage, certain boveri, uh, chromosome theory of inheritance, certain, uh, certain uh, views on linkage, the Betsin and Pune's coupling and repulsion hypothesis, Morgan's view on the linkage, chromosome theory of linkage, kinds of linkage, and the complete linkage, incomplete linkage, coupling and repulsion, linkage, disequilibrium, linkage groups. These are the things we'll look at under linkage in chapter 6. Chapter 7, we'll look at crossing over, the mechanism of crossing over, genetic consequences, uh, crossing over and recombination, mapping genes with uh, crossing over data, aberrations and disorders, characteristics of crossing over, types of crossing over, somatic or or mitotic crossing over, germline or meiotic crossing over, the mechanism of meiotic crossing over, kinds of crossing over, multiple crossing overs, then the enzymes involved in crossing over. Then chapter 8, we look at multiple alleles, we look at characters of multiple alleles, a demonstration of multiple allelic systems, the human blood groups, uh, the blood types or compatibility, the MN system, the process factor, the 
uh, law, the trans uh, transfusion and compatibility, importance of compatibility, transfusion reaction, blood uh, typing and cross matching, clinical implication of multiple alleles, a major histocompatibility complex, genetic variation in disease susceptibility, pharmacogenomics and treatment responses, then blood type uh, systems as models, genetic inheritance patterns, uh, clinical impl implications in Mendelian disorders, rule in complex traits and the polygenic disorders, clinical genetics and the diagnostic challenges, uh, genetic uh, counseling and risk assessments. You can see that we have so much to study. We are not done. In chapter 9, we we'll look at the cell determination and differentiation. We we'll look at cell determination, cell differentiation, cell chromosomes, chromosome uh, mechanism of cell determination in insects, then uh, cell determination in drosophilia, uh, drosophilia Melanogaska, then cell differentiation in mammals, then the testis determining factor, that is the uh, SRY gene that determines maleness, then a secondary surgery determ uh, determination in humans, the steps in surgery differentiation. The brain sexual differentiation uh, says a determination in birds, uh, the Z and W chromosomes. The cell determination and environment disorders of cell uh, development, that is a DSD. Then chapter 10, look at uh, cell length inheritance, inheritance patterns in males and females, catalysis of cell length inheritance, inheritance of y linked genes. Then we we'll look at inheritance of uh, s y linked genes, uh, the cell linked letters. The cell influence, influence genes, cell linked, uh, cell limited genes, non disjunction, the genetic counseling, and, di and diagnosis. Then, chapter 11, look at extra nuclear inher inheritance in eukaryotes. Look at maternal inheritance, nail coiling, and the maternal effects. We'll have look at uh, extra nuclear inheritance by cellular organelles, extra nuclear inheritance by endosymbionts. Then uh, uniparental inheritance in clamidomonas. Yeah? Then the clinical implication. Then chapter 12, we look at population genetics. We will look at how the equilibrium principle, conditions for how the Wimbass equilibrium principle, influences of how the Wimbass equilibrium, significance of how the Wimbass equilibrium, calculations of gene frequencies in a population, then applications of population genetics. Then chapter 13, we we'll look at uh, quantitative inheritance and heritability. We're going to be looking at qualitative or polygenic inheritance, uh, qualitative or polygenic, uh, polygenic can also be called quantitative inheritance, genes that are uh, characters that are controlled by one gene and those that are controlled by many genes, the heritability, key concepts of heritability, factors influencing heritability, limitation, limitation of heritability, types of heritability, applications of heritability, Challenges and consideration of heritability. Chapter 14, look at human genetics. We are, we are going to be talking about the PW analysis, amniocentesis, then twins, human traits, disorders due to uh, mutant genes, then uh, sex chromosome abnormalities, uh, female sex chromosome abnormalities, male chromosome abnormalities. A minute. Okay. So in chapter 15, we are going to be looking at gene mutation, kinds of mutation, a uh, classification of mutation according to types of uh, cells, a uh, classification of mutation according to size, and uh, and the rest of them. Okay, classification of mutation according to direction, classification of mutation according to magnitude of phenotypic effect, then classification of mutation according to the consequent change in the uh, amino acid sequence, then classification of mutation according to the types of chromosome, then significance of mutation, gene repair mechanism, clinical implication of gene mutation. The reason I'm reading out this, some of these subtopics is so that uh, you begin to do your independent research so that by the time I will begin the teaching, it will be easy for uh, your assimilation. Then chapter 16, we look at chromosomal, chromosomal mutation, key ways and some definitions in chromosomal mutations, types of uh, chromos uh, chromosomes mutation, uh, structural changes in uh, chromosome, types of structural changes in chromosome, changes in uh, Chromosome morphology, changes in chromosome number, trisomy in humans, uh, association between blood disorder and chromosomal mutation. Then uh, chapter 17, we look at epigenetics, eugenetics, if if uh, if finish, and the genetic engineering. So here we look at epigenetics, epigenetic mechanisms, DNA methylation, histone modification. Non-coding RNAs, epigenetics in development and cellular differentiation, 
epigenetics in disease, we look at cancer, we look at, uh, look at uh, uh, neurological disorders, cardiovascular diseases, environmental influences, diets, environmental toxins, we look at stress, we look at uh, lifestyle choices, we look at uh, eugenics, eugenics, sorry, we look at historical uh, contests, we look at positive eugenics, we look at negative eugenics, we look at modern uh, perspective on eugenics, we look at uh, euthenics, then euphenics, look at genetic engineering in details, uh, we'll also be uh, under that, we'll be looking at uh, genetic modified food, genetic engineering in humans, uh, somatic uh, genetic modification, germline genetic modification, benefits of uh, genetic modification, then the importance of uh, uh, genetic engineering in agriculture, in industry, and in medicine. Then we we'll look at chapter 18, bioinformatics, the overview of bioinformatics, the importance of bioinformatics, bioinformatics uh, databases, we look at nucleotide uh, database, we look at GenBank, we look at EMBL, DDBG, we look at protein database, Uniprot, Uniprot KB, the Uniref sequence analysis, structural uh, bioinformatics system, uh, biology, the next generation sequencing, that is the NGS, uh, this is an this advanced part of this course. Uh, you just need to be with us to be able to understand some of these concepts. Then bioinformatics tools and software, applications of bioinformatics. Then uh, chapter 19, look at uh, biotechnology. Uh, in details, look at overview of biotechnology, historical development, molecular biology basis, RNA and the protein uh, synthesis, uh, genetic engineering techniques, recombinant DNA technology, genomics and the proteomics. Look at uh, biopharmaceuticals. We look at agricultural biotechnology, industrial uh, biotechnology, bioprocessing and biomanufacturing. They look at synthetic biology. Then we look at uh, biotechnology and medicine, then emerging trends in biotechnology. Then uh, chapter 20, which is the last chapter, we look at some basic laboratory practicals in genetics. We look at uh, the hybrid cross, uh, DNA extraction from fruits and vegetables. So we'll get fruits and vegetables uh, and see how uh, DNA can be extracted. Of course, you do that with your lecturers in school. Then, importance of DNA uh, extraction. We can just give theoretical uh, uh, framework to uh, this uh, practical biology so that when, when, while, while doing it in the lab, you have a full grasp of what they are talking about. So, you can see that in this second phase, there are so, so, so much to do. So, uh, make sure you have subscribed and uh, share to your friends that you know we need this uh, biological discourse. So I will see you in my next class where we will begin the, the, the course in details. All right.